I don't want to waste any time. Let us start the topic. The ray travels from rarer medium to denser medium. Convex surface Principal axis Case 1 A ray travelling parallel to the principal axis strikes a convex surface and passes from rarer medium to denser medium. The refracted ray reaches a particular point on the principal axis of which is known as focal point. Parallel to the axis and normal reaches the principal axis at focal point. The ray travels from denser medium to rarer medium. Convex surface Case 2. A ray traveling parallel to the principal axis strikes a convex surface and passes from denser medium to rarer medium. The refracted ray moves away from the principal axis. When we extend the refracted ray backwards along the ray, intersects the principal axis at focal point. Parallel to the axis, normal and deviated from the principal axis ray is extended backwards it reaches the principal axis at focal point now this is concave surface because the ray is traveling from denser medium to rarer medium Case 3, a ray traveling parallel to the principal axis strikes a concave surface and passes from denser medium to rarer medium. The refracted ray reaches a particular point on the principal axis which is focal point. Parallel to the principal axis and normal it reaches the principal axis at particular point uh, that will become the focal point. Concave surface In this case, the ray travels from rarer medium to denser medium. Uh, this is case 4. A ray traveling parallel to the principal axis strikes a concave surface and passes from rarer medium to denser medium. The refracted ray moves away from the principal axis. When we extend the refracted ray backwards, the extended ray intersects the principal axis at focal point. Parallel to principal axis, normal and deviated. If we extend this same ray backwards, it meets or intersects the principal axis at focal point. Case 5. 